Okay, here's a tutorial in in aligning objects. In in Corel Draw, there are lots of ways how to align align objects. Uh, it's let's say for example in my artwork here, I want to align all of these images. Right? Uh, in aligning, you can either make a guideline. Okay, and then once you make a guideline, I can click on View. And you go to uh, snap to guidelines, and then you just move this over to the left side. Okay, and now you, because it snaps the guideline, so now it's so it's it's that way, right? Now let's delete these guidelines here, and let's misalign this one. There's a really faster way to do it in Corel Draw, and Okay, say for example this one, I want everything, all the objects here to align to the edge of this, uh, this picture here. What I do, I click this one and hold on shift and click the second one, then the third one, and then the last one. And what I do, in my keyboard, I just type in letter L for left because I want it to al align to left then it aligns. So I think that's the quickest way than making a guideline and snap, 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 snap. Okay, let's go back here. The most important thing here is that when you, it doesn't matter which one's the first one or which one's the second one when you select an object, when you hold on shift, right? The most important thing is the last one. The last object that you select that's the basis of the alignment. So if this is the last object and I type in letter L, all these three will align to to the very last object that I, I that I selected. So if say for example I click this one, this one, second one, then this one, and then this is my last one, right? I'm holding on shift, right? Okay, this one, and then type in letter L. Okay, all the objects will align to this one because that's the last object that I chose. Okay, now I'll just distort this a bit, and so that we can see how it aligns to the left, uh, to the right side. Okay, now going back, if I want to align, say, all of these to the right of this object here. Okay, so click, uh, shift, hold shift, select this, and this this is the last, and type letter R now. See, it, it aligns to the right side, right? Now, for example, I want to line it horizontally, sorry, vertically aligned, okay, to the center, say to the center of this one. What I do is select, 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 and say this is my last one because I want it to center to this one, and hold and shift, and then click the last one, and type letter C. See, right, right now everything is aligned to the center, a vertical horizon, a vertical center to this object. Okay, now we already know the shortcuts. So, okay, now let's see. Let's go here and here. Now here's my objective. I want everything to be aligned horizontally centered to this object here. Right? So I'll just put a grid here. So horizontal to the center of that one. So that's, I'll just distort it a bit. So it's the same concept as the left, which is L, and then R for right, and C is for center, right? So I click, shift, uh, click, and then hold on shift, click the second one, the third one, and then, then my basis is the last one, and type letter E. There. Now everything is centered horizontally. Okay, so... So now letter R, just for a review, okay? So shift, 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 this one, and then L for left alignment, then R for right alignment, and C is for vertical alignment, and then of course if it's E, it's going to be horizontal uh, alignment. So one, shift, 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 letter E, there you go. 
very fast alignment method. Okay, now what if I want it to be aligned to the top edge here of the object? I'll just put a mark there. Say I want to align to that one. How would I do that? It's the same thing. You click the first one, hold on shift the second one, then third one, and the last one, and T, type in letter T for top. There you go. Very fast. Now, okay, how about the bottom? Say in the bottom. Okay, well, once again, I don't need to put guidelines. I just want to show you because I want to show you where it will align. So hit uh, sh shift, select the second one, third one, and the last one, and B for bottom. Type in B for bottom. There you go. Everything will be aligned. Now, it does it doesn't only work with uh, with objects or images it will also uh, it will also work with paragraph text or artistic text so for example here I want to align it to the top portion of this of this uh, image so again click this one and then shift because that's the last one and I want to align it then type that or T for top there you go right so that's pretty much it so that's a fast way to align in in corel draw